Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're out here today with the Bugmobile. We're going to take a look at a couple of mounts from Kojo Manufacturing for keeping a firearm in here. Now right now, this is my option for keeping a firearm in the Bugmobile. And I've just got a Phobos paddle holster with my SD9 in there with some snake shot in it. So we've got a couple of mounts here from Kojo Manufacturing. One of them is just a magnet. You can see it's got a couple of magnets in there at a 45 to hold your firearm that way. And we've got this one, which is more along a holster line so I think I'm gonna put this one in first test it here on the bugmobile and then eventually I'll go to this one and that will be what I take and keep here in the tracker so I'm gonna put the first one in there run it around for a couple weeks and then I'll take the other one put that in there run that around probably for a couple weeks and see if we have any issues how well they hold the gun and give you my thoughts on them. All right, so the first one we put in was the VGM. As you can see, goes right in there. Didn't have any problem. They send you a couple of self-tapping screws. Just make sure you don't have any wiring or anything back there and drill them in. So we're gonna get a gun on this one, let it sit on there for a little while, go tooling around the yard, maybe out into the woods, see how it holds up. I may have to end up taking this and move it down someplace where it's more vertical than sitting like that where the gun will be hanging down from it, but we'll find out. Okay guys, so I ran with the Kojo VGM out here in the Bugmobile for a couple weeks. This thing was fantastic. I don't know whether it's because they've got the two angles on it so it gets a hold of two sides of your gun, they use better magnets, whatever they're doing, they're doing right because this thing held fantastically. The gun didn't move out here in the woods, around all this stuff, up and down hills, in through trees, this thing did it all. So this one is going in the truck and we've switched over to the vehicle holster mount out here in the Bugmobile. So there is the vehicle holster mount. As you can see, I've got my snake gun in there and the bonus of this one is that your trigger is completely covered on there and the magnets are strong enough that they will hold your Gerber suspension multi-tool on top of it as well and if you want to know how well that one worked i hit a tree bag by the bag boom yes what didn't move hit a tree in the bugmobile it's pretty bad it's not good and that didn't move at all the suspension didn't the gerber suspension didn't fall off of it the gun didn't move nothing moved in there but we racked up the the bookmobile so i've got to get that replaced it hit it hit so hard it threw this machete out of this bucket down there knocked everything gloves a knife my flashlight in there out of there the Gerber suspension was still sitting on top of the Kojo vehicle holster mount so I can't recommend these Kojo magnets their vehicle holster mount their vehicle gun mount enough like I said that the the vehicle gun mount been out here running around for a couple weeks the vehicle holster mount same thing running around here for a couple weeks they've all been perfect the vehicle holster mount was there when I hit the tree and nothing moved on it. So go check them out at Kojo Manufacturing and get yourself some, because I approve. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button up there. If you'd like to see another video from me, 
hit that button over there. If you want to see something from one of my friends, Gizzard Gary, Sergeant C4 Defense, or the Gunsnob, or perhaps a playlist from all the hens, hit that button up there.